implemented by UNDP, the GF Small Grants Program in Ethiopia started providing grants for local NGOs and CBOs in 2006. In April 2010, SGP in Ethiopia has supported 66 projects, out of which 56 of them are active. Ethiopia is found at the Horn of Africa, having a population of close to 80 million people. The project is undertaken in a place called Medgoria Kabale, which is located at North Shoa zone of Amhara region in Busana Orana Oreda. This area has a highly degraded land with greatly reduced productive capacity. Topsoil is washed away due to human intervention and it is devoid of vegetation cover in most cases. Because of repeated human activity and population increase, farmland is shrinking and the productive capacity of the land is decreasing. Due to lack of alternative energy sources, households use cow dung for fuel wood. Cow dung should have been returned back to the soil to improve fertility, which improves percolation of water to the soil. In order to overcome the challenges faced, both central and individual nurseries are established to raise indigenous and exotic tree seedlings. The seedlings are managed at the nursery site for vigorous growth before transplanted to the field. Seedlings are transported using different methods. Due to the rough topography of the area and accessibility problems, people transport the seedlings carrying them on their shoulders. Tree sponsorship or tree adapting is an approach this project uses to encourage community members to make the necessary care for the indigenous tree seedlings. In this approach, farmers are given remuneration based on the number of seedlings survived under their care. Through mobilizing community members, massive effort is made in physical soil and water conservation activities to rehabilitate gully and farmland. A total of 180 hectares of farmland has been treated with different soil and water conservation activities. In addition to construction of physical structures, biological soil and water conservation methods are also being constructed using locally available planting materials. Farmland treated with appropriate structures show good crop stand, can escape water shortage and give good production. Protecting an area from human and livestock interference or area closure help it to regenerate the survival of existing vegetation and germination of seeds found in the soil. Training was given to organized women groups on how to produce fuel-saving stoves both for own use and sale for the community in the surrounding on a cost-sharing basis. By making use of these stoves, fuel wood consumption is reduced by more than 50%, Indoor pollution is reduced which has direct effect on the health of the family and cooking time is also saved. Villagers and livestock used to drink water from the same point which is not hygienic. This water spring was developed near the nursery site to be used for raising tree and fruit seedlings. Small ruminants or sheep were supplied to the community by the NGO or the grantee to augment their livelihood which is believed to reduce pressure on the natural resources. Water harvesting is done to help the community produce vegetables and fruit trees to be used for consumption and income generation. Following the support of GAFSGP, it is believed that the magnitude of the problem in the area decreases and others would also replicate similar activities.